Right now, something strange is happening in our solar system, and even the world's top space agencies can't explain it. It's called 3 I Atlas, a mysterious visitor from another star system, speeding between planets like it has a purpose. At first, scientists thought it was just another comet, a frozen ball of dust and gas drifting through space. But when the James Webb Space Telescope and others took a closer look, everything they thought they knew was turned upside down. This object glows when it shouldn't, and moves in ways that defy logic. It's almost like it knows it's being watched. The latest data from James Webb suggests something truly bizarre is going on. And it could reshape how we think about comets, and even intelligent life beyond Earth. Milky Way a green glow that shouldn't exist. During a lunar eclipse in the deserts of Namibia, sky photographers captured something unexpected, a bright green glow coming from 3 I Atlas as it passed overhead. Normally, that color comes from C2 molecules reacting to ultraviolet light from the sun. But readings showed almost no C2 present. In other words, the green light shouldn't have been there. Even stranger, the glow wasn't steady, it pulsed every few seconds, like a heartbeat echoing through space. Some scientists suggested exotic radiation or glowing metals. Others wondered if it was advanced technology, manipulating light at the atomic level. Whatever the cause, one thing was clear, no natural object has ever glowed like this. Microscope chemistry that doesn't add up. James Webb's analysis of the light revealed something else, high levels of nickel and carbon dioxide, but almost no water vapor. That's the opposite of what you'd expect from a comet. Nickel only vaporizes at extreme temperatures, usually near the sun. But 3 I Atlas was releasing it while still between Mars and Jupiter. And the carbon dioxide levels? Way too high compared to the missing water. It was like seeing smoke without a fire. Theories exploded. Was it generating its own heat? Hollow inside? Emitting exhaust? The specific mix of nickel and CO2 matched what you'd expect from burning high-performance alloys. Some scientists even admitted the readings looked eerily similar to what you'd see from an engine. Rocket a path too perfect. Despite all this, 3i Atlas moved with eerie calm. In space, nothing travels in a perfectly straight line, except this. Its path was so precise that even NASA's best computers struggled to explain it. Most comets wobble and drift due to gas jets. But this object stayed on course, deviating by less than 2 kilometers per day, far more stable than any comet ever recorded. It was almost like it was correcting itself, sticking to a planned route through the solar system. Astronomers began comparing it to other interstellar visitors like Umiwamiwa and Borisov, which also behaved strangely. But 3 I Atlas was different. It moved like something guided, conserving energy, adjusting just enough to stay on track. If it were a spacecraft, this is exactly how it would fly, quiet, careful, and efficient. So the question became, where is it going? Shooting star linked to the wow. Signal. Then came a discovery that shook the astronomy world. When scientists traced its path backward, they found it came from the same region of space as the constellation Sagittarius, the origin of the famous WOW. Signal from 1977. That 72 second burst of radio waves remains one of the biggest mysteries in the search for alien life. Its frequency, 1420 megahertz, matches the natural emission of hydrogen, a kind of cosmic hello used in SETI research. Now, nearly 50 years later, something from that exact same direction is passing through our solar system. Could the two be connected? Could 3i Atlas be the source of that signal, carrying the same code? NASA hasn't confirmed anything. But James Webb keeps watching, and the object keeps getting stranger, almost as if something inside is waking up. Satellite antenna a pulse from within. As 3i Atlas passed Mars's orbit, Webb's infrared sensors picked up a hidden pattern in its glow. At first, it looked like random noise. But once scientists filtered out the background static, a clear pulse emerged, repeating every 21 seconds across multiple wavelengths. It wasn't sunlight. It wasn't a reflection. It was coming from inside the object. When they converted the pulse into sound, it produced a low hum that shifted like a coded message. 
Some thought it was magnetic vibrations. But others noticed something uncanny. The timing matched numbers found in the wow. Signal. Whatever was generating that light wasn't just reacting to its environment. It was communicating. And James Webb had picked up the message. Sun defying the sun. Normally, comets get brighter and hotter as they approach the sun. But 3 I Atlas didn't follow that rule. Instead, its surface temperature stabilized and even cooled perfectly in sync with the surrounding space. Webb detected a thin layer forming around the object, reflecting sunlight in rhythmic pulses. But it wasn't dust or ice. It was a dense metallic vapor, more like an energy field than a gas. It absorbed solar radiation and re-emitted it in harmonic waves, like a shield adapting to its environment. Inside that shell, the core remained dark, hidden from every sensor. This behavior made no sense. It was as if the object recognized the sun as a threat and was protecting itself. Cyclone a spin that shouldn't be possible. Then, something changed. Over 48 hours, James Webb recorded a dramatic shift in the object's rotation. It slowed by nearly 20%, then abruptly reversed direction. For something that size, without any visible propulsion, that shouldn't be possible. Even the engineers monitoring the data were stunned. The only explanation was something inside, something capable of controlling the object's movement with astonishing precision. After it changed direction, its infrared pulse pattern shifted too, syncing perfectly with its new rotation. It was as if the spin and the emissions were linked, each influencing the other's energy output. NASA initially suggested it was thermal torque instability, where uneven heating causes an object to wobble, but the James Webb telescope told a different story. The object wasn't losing control. It was adjusting itself. Each rotation aligned with gravitational pulls, first toward the sun, then toward Earth. It wasn't tumbling randomly. It was deliberately orienting itself. Once the object stabilized, Webb's near-infrared camera captured a clear image of 3E Atlas's center and what appeared stunned everyone in the control room. It wasn't round like a comet or elongated like Oumuamua. It was geometric, almost a perfect hexagon, with sharp, symmetrical edges glowing with metallic vapor. Six points around the center pulsed energy in sequence, like a rotating beacon. When scientists mapped the emissions over time, they formed a spiral pattern, identical to the electromagnetic structure of the famous WOW. Signal from decades ago. Some dismissed it as coincidence, but the data was too precise. Webb confirmed the pattern was real and persistent. The object didn't just look engineered, it behaved like it was. As its spin aligned with Earth's orbit, a chilling question echoed through observatories and research centers, if it's sending a message, who is it for? Days after the spin shift, Webb detected something even stranger, a faint reflection in deep space, just a few thousand kilometers behind 3 I Atlas, moving in perfect sync. At first, it was thought to be debris or a lens flare. But the reflection emitted no heat or light, yet mimicked every movement of the main object with mechanical precision. Even when 3 I Atlas changed speed or rotation, the reflection followed instantly, as if tethered by something invisible. Infrared instruments picked up subtle distortions in spacetime between the two, tiny gravitational ripples hinting at an energy link. It was as if the object had created a real-time mirror image. Some speculated it was a field effect. Others believed it was a glimpse of something hidden behind the object. But one thing was clear, every 21 seconds, both the object and its reflection pulsed together, perfectly synchronized, like two entities exchanging information faster than light. The more Webb observed, the clearer it became, the mirror wasn't a copy. It was a receiver. While Webb watched from afar, strange things began happening on Earth. Magnetometers across continents picked up faint rhythmic pulses, matching the same 21-second pattern from 3 I Atlas. These weren't isolated to observatories. Everyday systems felt it too. Communication satellites experienced brief, synchronized glitches. Aircraft navigation systems momentarily lost sync. Deep space antennas reported low-frequency echoes from nowhere. When researchers analyzed the signals, they found fragments identical to the object's pulse sequence. 
Somehow, Earth was reflecting part of the emission, like the planet itself had become a surface bouncing the signal back. NASA suggested solar storms were to blame, but solar activity was minimal. Meanwhile, data scientists mapped the locations of these anomalies against the object's real-time position. What they found was startling. The strongest magnetic pulses occurred whenever three I atlas aligned directly with Earth's orbital path. Each time it crossed that line, Earth's resonance intensified, as if communication between the two was no longer one way. After weeks of uncertainty, a young analyst at the Jet Propulsion Laboratory made a breakthrough. They discovered that the signal's harmonics matched data from 1977, the year the WOW signal was received. When both patterns were combined, the frequencies aligned like two halves of a single transmission. One came from deep space decades ago. The other was now being echoed by three I atlas. The implications were enormous. This wasn't a new signal. It was a continuation, or worse, a reply. The analyst ran the combined data through pattern recognition software and uncovered something chillingly precise, a mathematical map of our solar system showing planetary orbits and one extra point, just beyond Mars, exactly where 3 I Atlas was now. The object wasn't just sending a message. It was syncing its position with Earth and Mars, activating what looked like a hidden network across the solar system. When NASA modeled the data, they realized everything was aligned to form a perfect triangle, with the sun at its center. Webb then detected another shift. As 3 I Atlas moved deeper into the inner solar system, its emissions changed dramatically. The 21-second pulse accelerated into a continuous frequency, overwhelming Webb's sensors. The green glow intensified, stretching into thin beams that spiraled thousands of kilometers behind it, not a tail, but streams of particles forming a spiral around its path. Every 20 minutes, the object emitted a flash, a cone of radiation. But the final burst was different. It split into three beams, one aimed at the sun, one at Mars, and one at Earth. Webb confirmed that each beam carried the same code as the WOW. Signal. For the first time, humanity was witnessing a cosmic alignment in real time, not a natural one, but a deliberate triangulation. As 3 I Atlas passed the midpoint between Mars and Earth, its emissions became strong enough to disrupt satellites in low orbit. In its final frames before going offline, Webb captured something extraordinary, the object's geometric shell expanding, unfolding like petals of light directed at Earth. After 37 minutes of silence, Webb came back online. Its sensors, temporarily blinded by the last emission, began transmitting fragmented data, blurry images, spectral distortions, and encrypted signals. When reconstructed, the frames revealed something astonishing. The object's outer structure had transformed completely. What was once a compact hexagonal core had unfolded into a vast lattice, hundreds of panels radiating outward like an antenna. Each panel emitted pulses that shifted across frequencies in perfect harmony, creating wave patterns that extended far beyond the object itself. This wasn't just a reflective structure. It was an amplifier. The energy was so intense, it briefly disrupted the background radiation of the universe, flattening the cosmic microwave signal. Webb's instruments registered it as a temporary vacuum phase shift. But among those who saw the raw data, a new term emerged. 3i Atlas wasn't just sending a signal. It was a transmission array.